All right, guys, welcome back to part three of the EVF foam install. Today, what we're going to be doing is actually cleaning up the side walls of the boat, spraying some adhesive for the carpet that actually is hanging down, and also spray paint these sides and make it look newer again. As you can see, some of these stains right here, we already tried to remove them and clean it up, and they won't get removed. So what we're going to do is go ahead and spray it down and make it look new again. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to start by getting this wire harness freed from this sidewall and remove all of these brackets that are holding it together. And now we're doing the same thing, but on this side. This side, you can see the carpet's a lot lower than on the other side, so we're definitely going to reattach this and make it look nicer. Alright, so that's all the hardware. What we're going to do now is clean this surface that we're going to apply the adhesive on, both on the carpet and as well on the fiberglass. And we're going to attach this carpet back up. And we're going to do this on both sides. Alright guys, so now we got the surface all cleaned up and ready to go. I made some cutouts too for the hardware so it won't be in the way. What we're going to be using to adhere the carpet is going to be this 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. So this stuff works really, really well for this kind of application. So we're going to go ahead and start applying it and attaching this carpet to the side. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we got the carpet all adhered to the boat, so it's not coming off. Switch over. This spray, it, it sticks really quickly, so you don't really have to hold it too long. As long as you apply enough pressure from the beginning, and make sure that it's flat to the boat, which right now it is. So right now we're going to go ahead and move on to the other side. Alright guys, so we just finished adhering the carpet on the side and also on the bottom. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and start masking tape, using masking tape around the edges so we don't get the spray paint on any of the fiberglass that we don't want to get it on. We just want to focus on having this only be on the carpet. So we're going to go ahead and start getting it ready and prepped. And the spray paint that we're using is a satin gray 2-in-1, so we're going to go ahead and start knocking it out. Alright guys, so we got everything masked up and ready to go, so now we're going to go ahead and begin painting.
make sure you always wear a mask. I'm wearing one. Yep. All right, guys, so we finished spraying down the first coat on both sides. It's already looking much, much better. You still do see, of course, some streaks. So that's why we're going to go back the second time and fix the streaks out in any other place we missed. With the second coat, uh, we're already on our second, second paint bottle. So luckily, we grabbed two of them. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and knock this second coat out. So let's get going. And please wear a mask when you guys do this. All jokes aside, uh, I only had one mask left, so I gave it to my wife, and I'm sacrificing myself for this one. Pregnant lady gets the mask. Everyone, so we finished spray painting the sides of the boat as well as adhering it to the boat as well the pieces that were loose as you can see it's looking a lot better than what it did before I don't know if the camera could catch it quite as well but you guys remember seeing all the stains and all the debris on it that could not come off years and years of use now we got a new fresh coat of gray so it's looking much much better so next video just gonna be laying the EVA foam down and pretty much completing the whole build. So really excited to get that going and seeing this boat in a finished state. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.